It's been a, a, an amazing experience when you get to work with a guy like Rock, uh, a guy who comes to work every day uh, wanting to learn, wanting to get better. Uh, and you know, to be able to go through and see a kid's development through the years, it's a lot of fun. Um, especially, you know, you go through so many hard hardships. <laughs> you get yelled at, you have bad games. Uh, but to see uh, his steady focus on getting better from in the weight room to how he deals with Brad Pike in the training room to how he comes out and has a system now of development every day uh, with a, a smile on his face ready to get better. Uh, he was uh, one of the biggest decisions of me coming here in the first place. Uh, we had a relationship in high school and um, I knew the type of guy Rock was. Uh, he, he was a good teammate, a good person, and uh, he worked hard on the court. I mean, I, I've known Rock um, since about sixth grade is when I first uh, saw him play and then, uh, and then I kind of got to know him in eighth grade and then I was fortunate enough to play with him in AAU uh, in ninth grade and all the way through until, until senior year. And, uh, and, and Rock, he hasn't really changed. He, he's, he's still the same kid at, at heart, really. Um, but, I mean, on the floor, uh, his, his game, especially this year, has really come together. Uh, he's always been a guy who, who is high energy and, and defensively and could go block shots and would have a couple amazing dunks uh, throughout the game. But, I mean, this year you're really starting to see his moves come into play and he's really just starting to dominate games. And, and he, he's always done that for times, but, I mean, now he's starting to do it throughout the whole entire game and, and, and throughout the whole entire season, really. Oh, I looked up to Chris Joseph, School Jardine, um, Dion, James Sutherland, CJ Fair, Byron Cicada. I looked up to all of them. I mean, I learned a lot from them in the beginning. And if they told me to be a leader the first few years I was here, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, I learned a lot from them. I learned to just take everything and try to listen to coach and you'll be fine. I think people really appreciate uh, people that get better and uh, you know we, we live in the one and done age uh, and to see a guy who graduates in three years and to see a guy who is very selfless it's all about winning to see a guy when you see a, a, a kid on the side uh, during a game and he comes over and gives him five and he, he puts smiles on people's faces and that's just the way rock is and um, you know, he's been a, just a tremendous asset to the community, and I think that people appreciate that. Not only his exceptional talent when he goes out and plays, uh, he's become this, uh, uh, you know, high-level player, but it's the person that he is, I think, that makes the most uh, difference in the community. But on, on offense, to, to have a guy you can go to, and, uh, and he's not only going to score for himself but he's going to make the right play for the team and whether that's him going all the way to the basket or finding an open man when the double team comes. Uh, I mean it's just so it's so important to have that and uh, and to have him this year and, and just to see what he's doing and, and just dominating the game it's really special. He, he just got an opportunity uh, as a go-to guy and he took advantage of it this year. Rock's definitely one of those most talented big man I've seen uh, in college basketball from my point of view and um, hopefully I could be one of the most talented guards or just uh, have a chance to get to the final four like he did and have a good career like he did. He earned his undergraduate degree in three years and is currently pursuing a master's degree from the School of Education in Instructional Design Development and Evaluation. Joined on the court this evening by his father, Ronald Christmas, his aunt, Jamila Hammond, grandmother, Evelyn Hammond, his uncle, Ryan Joseph, aunt, Jasmine Hammond, and girlfriend, Samantha Deck from St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, number 25, Rakeem Christmas. To graduate in, in three years is, is hard if you're just a regular student. I mean, let alone the hours that he's got to put into the gym and, and, and lifting weights and everything else. I mean, and that, just shows, that just shows you a lot about him as a person. and. Uh, just how hard he really works, at, no matter what he's doing, really. As you go through the years, you learn a lot of things from different players and the coaches. I mean, you grow as a person here, and I mean, over these four years, I've grown from a kid to a man here, and I mean, just great. Um, these four years, they've been the best four years of my life, and I'm just happy I did it.